Madrid are set to overhaul their squad in the January transfer window as Zinedine Zidane's side look to keep pace with Barcelona at the top of the La Liga table. Los Blancos have been impressive this season despite a host of injury issues but financial fair play regulations could put even more strain on their aging squad. Real Madrid are enjoying a resurgence this season after a dismal 2018-19 campaign which saw them employ three different managers as they looked to turn their fortunes around. Julian Loptke started his reign in controversial circumstances after being axed by Spain on the eve of the World Cup and a string of poor results saw him given the boot by Los Blancos in October. Interim manager Santiago Solari triggered a brief boost in results but by the time Zidane was appointed to replace him in March, Real were well adrift of arch-rivals Barcelona. An eventual third-place finish in La Liga was considered unsuccessful while club president Florentino Perez demanded an improvement on the Champions League round of 16 exit. Just in, Real Madrid ace Martin Odegaard opens up on failed Barcelona transfer before El Clasico What do Real Madrid need in January? A new creative midfielder is required with both Gareth Bale and James Rodriguez out of favour under Zidane. However, Isco is back from injury and a favourite of the current Real Madrid boss so any new signing still faces competition for a starting berth. Further central midfield reinforcements would also be welcome with Luka Modric now 34 years old while a long-term replacement for 33-year-old Sergio Ramos is also being targeted. Finally, depth at fullback appears to be a weakness of the squad with Marcelo past his prime and Zidane unconvinced by Alvaro Odriozola, although Madrid can recall the likes of Sergio Reguilon and Akraf Hakimi from loan spells. Who could Real Madrid get in January? Reports from Spain suggest an outrageous swap deal involving Modric could see Khalidou Goulibaly arrive at the Bernabeu in January. El Desmarque suggests the Senegalese centre-back will join from Napoli if the Serie A side receive £42 million, in addition to Modric. Elsewhere, Ajax starlet Donny van der Beek is more likely to make a move following the Dutch side's exit from the Champions League while playmakers House Semauer and Kai Havertz of Lyon and Bayer Leverkusen respectively are attracting interest. Manchester United's Paul Pogba continues to be linked with a switch to Spain but any deal is more likely to take place in the summer while Manchester City ace Phil Foden has been identified as a replacement for James Rodriguez but would cost £67 million. Who could leave Real Madrid in January? Gareth Bale is the most high-profile star set for the exit although Real refused to sell in the summer with Perez a known fan of the Welshman. Colombian playmaker Rodriguez is expected to leave and bring in the bulk of the cash required to meet FFP regulations while Brahim Diaz and Mariano could also depart. Luka Jovic has been on the fringes since his arrival from Frankfurt but offers an alternative to the resurgent Karim Benzema and will be given time to settle. Both Modric and Nacho are out of contract next summer so Real could look to cash in before the duo leave for free at the end of the season. What will actually happen in January? Any major signings remain unlikely with Real instead using the January window to focus on trimming their squad. Rodriguez, Mariano and Brahim Diaz should all move on but Bale remains a key attacking option for Zidane so his departure could wait until the end of the season. Don't be surprised to see Modric shifted out but a swap deal for Koulibaly is a long shot, with Napoli surely determined to keep hold of their star man ahead of the Champions League knockout stages. While permanent deals would be preferred, Zidane may consent to loan moves in order to bolster his lightweight squad and avoid further UEFA penalties. Let's block ads.